All right, guys, I decided I wanted to uh, learn a little more French. Uh, I know a bunch of basic stuff like greetings and, you know, salutations, stuff like that. Other than that, I don't know, or it's also hard for me to uh, listen to it and understand what's going on. It sounds like it's going too fast, as it would be with anything new, new language, whatever. So for fun, I decided why not find a helper to teach me how to do this, right? Instead of me just going, okay, how do I do this and wrote through it? There's always a better way to do things. And uh, why not ask AI? So I went into Bard, Google's AI, and I basically prompted it to say, uh, here we go. Create, here's, here's the prompt. And this is on bard.google.com. So my prompt is create a set of, I knew Tepper right, sorry. Create a set of exercises to teach me how to speak French using basic everyday greetings and common conversation items. Uh, provide practice tips and exercises. Detail the most common and successful way to learn French with examples. Uh, it would help if I actually typed this right. But anyway, AI came back, which is AI, this stuff is awesome, guys. I don't care what people say. You know, until we give it, you know, sentient, till, until AI becomes sentient and they be, get armed up with weapons, then, then I'll worry. Uh, it might be too late, and then we have Skynet and all that. But anyway, this is pretty cool. Uh, like I said, I know the basic greetings and stuff and uh, salutations, you know, how you doing and goodbye and welcome and all that stuff. And how's your day going? <clears throat> so here's what AI came back with. Uh, learn French with everyday greetings and conversation exercises. And what, I, what you can also do in AI here is you can come down here, pull this little bastard down, hit reload, and it'll generate a whole new response. You get different drafts. So it's kind of neat. It's learning and learning and learning, right? Literally, and it's teaching you what you ask based on the prompt, how to help you learn. Not too bad. Anyway, so we got start with basic greetings. Bonjour, which is good morning, afternoon until you get to sunset. Then it's bonsoir, good evening, salut, hi, informal. Uh, comment allez-vous? And uh, you can say, how are you? And you can say today, you can say, comment allez-vous aujourd'hui? And aujourd'hui. Uh, yeah, that's the extra part for today. I like that part. Comment allez-vous? Comment allez-vous aujourd'hui? With the, all right. Uh, ça va? How are you? Informal? Because I would ask this to people who speak French, and then they would respond. I just never understood what they said. And basically, they were saying, um, oh, you could say, wait, I think it's say va bien or whatever. You could go, je va, je va bien, merci, et vous? I'm, I, again, I might not be pronouncing this right because I'm an idiot. I don't, I, like I said, I can, th I can fumble through the basics of a greetings. Uh, so I just want to polish the game up and, you know, learn a bit more. So we got, what does it say? I'm good, thank you, and you, and that's new. So, je, je va, I think it's va, I gotta work on the pronunciations and stuff. Je va bien, merci, et vous? Uh, I'm not sure which letters are silent, I have to work on that as well. But I figure I'm, I'm just a rough turd and I need polished, right? And I need to learn some of the understanding of the conversations and that. Uh, let's see, because I know there's formal French and then there's informal French. So, that's something I picked up months ago on a YouTube channel, I went, what? Uh, like they said, it's say va, informal. And then there's formal, comme allez vous? Yeah, all that stuff. Uh, let's see, again, I'm trying to learn. It's like me picking up a guitar for the first time. So <clears throat> with me having strummed and know the basic chords already, I'm just trying to, hey, what else can I do with this? To actually be somewhat kind of literate in this. Uh, your brain can do so much. Why not just keep filling it up and never stop learning? That's my attitude, say, oh, let's do French because I work with uh, two folks that speak French and English. So I would just want to go surprise them one day and just start speaking French in front of them. And they'll freak out or I'll hear what they say about me when they're speaking French. I don't know. All right. Je va bien, merci et vous. And uh, probably not pronouncing right, but anyway. Enchanté. Nice to meet you. I like that one. Enchanté. Enchanté. And then, uh, au revoir. I can't even say this. Au revoir. Au revoir. Goodbye and uh, abiento, I think, is uh, see you later till we, till we meet again or something like abiento. I like that one too. Uh, and then uh, what it does, oh, the one I like too is uh, counting is interesting too. I got maybe half of them. Un, deux, trois, 
And then you, if you're taking someone's picture, you go un, de toi, oistiti, and that means marmoset in French because they don't say cheese, they say marmoset, and I guess that makes you smile and you take the picture. And uh, some of the French people I've met and spoke to, they go, yeah, yeah, they get it. <laughs> they look at me weird, but they, they get it. I just kept saying oistiti, oistiti, un, de toi, oistiti. Uh, it was all fun. Anyway, so here's uh, Bards, the AI's uh, recommendation. Exercise. Record yourself saying each greeting out loud. All right, I just want to say, just hit me. Where was this when I was growing up? Teachers and schools, they, this is what you need to do. Start with the basic, give you exercises, tell you how you're going to learn. Basically, give you everything up front to, get, to uh, manage expectations. Let people know what you're going to get into, what the uh, mission ahead is going to encompass this is gold this is what i think makes makes people learn better is knowing why they're doing it what they're going to expect here's some basics to start building on i love it this is i mean i love this ai stuff all right practice with a partner who uh taking turns greeting each other that does work uh use flashcards with the french word on one side and the english translation on the other okay that's too much work <laughs> Write a short dialogue using the greetings above. Yep, that I think that's a good one. Uh, I guess the flashcards, if it was on a computer, that's fine. I, just, I don't want to be fumbling through physical flashcards. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Learn common conversation items. Just get the basics to get you by. And from there, you can build. And uh, I'm not sure I'm going to pronounce this right. Como tu... Como tu te apeles? Ah. Como tu... Te appelles. I gotta get that right. Je m'appelle. So, como tu. I can't get that T. That's hard for me. Como tu appelles. I can't get that. Como tu te appelles. Como tu te appelles. Ah, whatever. All right. Je m'appelle. My name is. I don't know. What to, oh my God. K. Oh my God. Quel. Quel age as tu? I gotta work on that one. Quel. I gotta get the pronoun on the letters. All right. Ja. Ja ans. I don't know. <laughs> Do we vient to? Vient to? I don't know. Where are you from? Je viens. Je viens de. Kiss. 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 Oh my God! I almost had it. Mm. Kiss. Okay. To face. I don't know. Kiss. 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 How do you say? Is that kiss? Kiss. That's this is kiss. Okay. Kiss. Kiss. Is how do you say? Maybe I don't know. Je suis, I am, je suis. I can get those. It's these little freaking apostrophes. I got to figure that out. Um, Parlez-vous? Parlez-vous anglais? Anglais. Oh, it's interesting. I want to put the E on it. All right. Parlez-vous en anglais? Parlez-vous anglais? Do you speak English? Oui. Je parle un pu anglais. Pu, 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 anglais. I'm just pronouncing, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I gotta, I, if I can recognize the words and then start pronouncing, that'd be fun. No, no, je ne parle pas anglais. No, I don't speak English. Our exercise is create a self introduction using the conversation items above. Okay, it's repeating itself a little bit. Practice asking and answering questions with a partner. Play a game where you take turns asking each other questions in French. Eh, write a short conversation using the items above. Here we go. Practice tips. Because you want to figure, this has been done forever. So what throughout time works the best in learning something, right? Of course, practice, practice, practice. All right, listen to French music and podcasts. I heard in the past, a lot of people have learned English by watching sitcoms and American TV. And I'm really sorry about that, guys. But yeah, you, you watched our garbage to learn how to speak English. Uh, but that worked. Watch French movies and TV shows with subtitles. Uh, yeah. Sometimes you got to slow it down, though. Um, finding language exchange partner. Yeah. Use online resources like Duolingo and Memorize. I actually just popped over to Duolingo, and I kind of dig it because I said I knew a little baby, baby, wee, wee intro French. <clears throat> and it actually said, here, let's see how much you know. And we went through, and uh, they figured, okay, we know where you're at, and I'll show you that. And then now I'm at, you, at a point where it's uh, they want you to repeat on the keyboard what you just heard, which is kind of cool. And you can slow it down too. So through AI, I learned about Duolingo. I never heard of that before. All right, label objects in your home with their French names. Uh, think of French as much as possible. 
don't be afraid to make mistakes. Of course, the only way you really learn about anything is by screwing up or making mistakes. Not screwing up, but just making a mistake. Uh, let's see, most common and successful learning method. Immersion, surrounding yourself with French as much as possible is the most effective way to learn. This includes listening to French, watching French media, and speaking French with others. So true. It's like, take this. This is a language. This is learning anything new. Take what I'm doing here. French it happens to be the subject. Take anything, playing guitar, learning the program in a, in, a, in a programming language. It's all the same. Immerse yourself. You have to have the attitude of wanting to learn and turn your brain on. If you don't want to do it, you're not going to learn. You're just going to be, you know, you want to go watch Netflix or something stupid. All right, actively learning. Engage with the language actively, not just passively. This means practicing speaking, writing, listening, and reading. That's one thing when I was learning Spanish in high school and college. We never actively spoke it. We just listened read it and that was it we never actually had conversations and i never understood that because you never i never really i can read it and hear and listen to it but i can't really speak it and i said we never sat down in class and did that conversational mode and it's just weird i don't know it's throughout every class from college and high school i don't know what the deal was with that all right consistency learning a language takes time and effort be consistent with your studies and practice regularly yeah if you don't use it if you don't practice you're gonna forget it I know when I learned the basic readings like above and that, I just kept repeating in my head until I got it down. And then I, then it just sticks with you. Uh, then I tried on some French people, some people, like some French people, some people that spoke French and they said, oh yeah. And they, one guy even said, oh, you kind of got the, the accent down right to the pronunciation. I went, oh, okay. Cause you just don't know what you don't know until someone, another human, you can bounce it off and they can say, mm -hmm. anyway, personalized approach. Find a learning method that works best for you. I like that Duolingo so far, and I like just laying this out. There are many different approaches to learning French, so don't be afraid to experiment. Examples. We already went through this. Listen, oh, they actually give you hardcore examples. Real examples, not just, you know, go figure it out and come back, you know, with the answer. <clears throat> examples. Listen to French music. Artists like uh, Edith Piaf, Charles, as a, as a, oh my God, Aznavour, and... Romain. Watch French movies like Amelia, Amelie, whatever. Amelie. <laughs> Intouchables and The Artist. Uh, they better not be naked movies. Oh, that's fine. Anyway, use online language exchange platforms like Hello Talk or Tandem. Never heard of those before. Interesting. Use Duolingo or Memrise to learn vocabulary and grammar. That's I'm on Duolingo. I don't know Memrise. I didn't know Duolingo until like 10 minutes ago. Label objects again in your house. I'm going to leave my wife, my dog with a, um, uh, what do you call it? Stickies. Stick them on their butts and I'll just say, hey, un perro. Ah, oh, that's Spanish. All right. Think in French when you're doing everyday activities like cooking or cleaning. Well, okay. I'll remember the key to success is to practice regularly and have fun. Okay, that's cool. Let's go over to Duolingo. Blammo. So I got this far. They kind of uh what do you call it gave me some stuff to click on and it's all this menu this uh object selection word selection exercises which is nice i kind of dig this and uh basically they asked me how do you say this i am a woman i'm a girl i'm a dude my name is timmy uh i eat an orange and then you just click the buttons and then it and then they they actually evaluated where you they think you are it's, instead of going straight from scratch they evaluate where you you know what you, how you answer those questions. There's like three different prompts. And I said, okay. So then they did that and now I'm here and they say, tap what you hear. And I don't know if you can hear this, wait. Il s'appelle du. And they're going, il s'appelle il s'appelle du. And uh, what is it? His name is du. I never heard of that name. So it's, you gotta learn people's names too in French, I think. You can slow it down by clicking the turtle. Il, il s'appelle. S'appelle. Du. Duo. Pretty cool. I, I do like this. It's, I mean, you got to have fun with it. If you're not having fun, like, like I said, playing, learning to play guitar, you got to have fun with it. Don't just beat yourself over, over the head with a stupid, you know, learn the, the rudiments. Nah, just pick a song you like. Have someone help you show or how to play it on YouTube or in person. You, you'll have a blast then. You know, don't go too serious. But you can pick difficult songs on a guitar and play just the chords. Like uh, comfortably, Numb, Comfortably Numb has like three to four basic chords. 
And then you just strum along, and then you work your way up, and you kind of do a little more and a little more, and then next thing you're doing the two frickin' solos, you know? <laughs> By David Gilmore. Yeah, you can do it. You just gotta want to do it. All right, we did this one, so let's do continue. Ooh, write this in French. I speak English. I just, I know what this is. I should know what this is. I, uh... I'm probably missing something. Je parle and oh my god, I get these wrong. What's the difference? Oh, come on, that's not fair. <laughs> Is it Anglais or Anglais? Oh, I'm gonna screw it up. Oh my god, help me. Should I cheat? Anglais, Anglais. I don't know. No. Always. Ah, how do I get rid of that? Wait. How do I get rid of that? How do I wait what? Oh, I want that back. No. Shoot. Can I move? <gasps> I can move it. Shoot, hold on. Shoot. Oh, I don't want to delete it. Oh. Anglais. Fuck. Ah. What did I mess up? J oh, I got it wrong. 50-50 chance. I swear to God, based on the pronunciation. That's close. Come on. <laughs> Wait, that sucks. So I'm getting a pot. I want to get this stuff down. I speak. All right. Je parle. Cool. English. That was just a, that was tricky. And they did that on purpose just to beat it into me. All right. A pizza. Oh, God. Un? Oh, no. What's a pizza? It can't be pizza. Come on. What's a chin? This is tricky. Pizza. That's a oh, that's a boy. Garcon isn't on a man. Uh pizza is pizza. Orange is orange. Chin. What the hell's a chin? A chicken? I don't know. Is pizza is pizza? Pizza. Um, pizza. Oh my god. Yes. This is fun. I'm enjoying it. Anyway, I just want to make a stupid video about this, how you can actually put your mind to something and go have fun with it and learn how to speak. Right now, I learned how to say un pita. <laughs> All right, guys. If you speak French, please post below what you find works best. That's <laughs> just to help me. I'm just having a hell of a time with it. Again, I work with two people that speak English and French and uh, some other languages too, which is amazing. Americans are pretty much stupid. We just basically learn uh, American slang English, uh, the bastardized version, and we just don't teach kids in school how to speak multiple languages. Europe, I think they speak at least two. I know English and then their, their native language and then maybe three uh, being over in Europe and that. It's just embarrassing for us that we don't, we don't, uh, we don't teach our kids in that in this, this country. And it's probably by design just to make us real stupid. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I wish they would change that. That's another subject. Anyway, this is fun. Hope you had fun with this. Uh, maybe I'll keep posting videos as I progress and I'll check back in and you can go, wow, that actually worked. Yeah. I'm digging this Duolingo. Then I'm going to check out the other ones too. They mentioned memorize and all that. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll talk to you later. All right. Goodbye. Oh, a bientôt. Au revoir.